It was a fantastic day of Pop Warner football at ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex located at the world famous Walt Disney World Resort. 57th edition of the Pop Warner Super Bowl and all of the Division II finals are set. Great day of semifinal action and we have all the highlights for you. I'm Michael Kane, everybody. It's great to be here. Let's get right to the Junior Pee Wees. Northampton versus Bedford Heights. And this was the Brothers Nash Show. The twins, Logan Lawson. This is Logan here. He gets it in for the TD. And his twin brother says, hey man, if you can do it, I can do it better. How much better? 84 yards better. He breaks it 84 yards. That's Lawson. Puts Bedford up 20 to 0. In the fourth quarter, Northampton trying to get anything going offensively. Colby Seneca is just crushed by the defense. They turn it over on downs. Then it's Andre Bathia. He just puts the icing on the cake. His team won big and he runs big. Number 21 goes 87 yards for the touchdown and the win. Bedford Heights goes home victorious, 32 to zero. In the other semifinal, West Orange Wildcats versus the Saints, and this is the Saints' Brian Pope. The Saints go marching in, and he goes marching into the end zone, Norfolk by six. On to the second. Pope again, he keeps it, goes around that left side, looking for the end zone, but no! steps out at the four. Very next play, Jeffrey Foster punches it in, Norfolk by 12. In the third quarter, Foster again follows his blocker, but check out this second effort. Stiff arm, high steps it in for the touchdown, 24 nothing. Norfolk would tag on one late as they win 30 to six. You look at the stats here, in the last six, they've only allowed six points in the last two games. Brian Pope, such a great day. Two TDs, as did Jeffrey Foster. 30 to six, just a dominant performance by Norfolk today. Here's a look at the full bracket, how they got here. We have two really high scoring teams. Bedford Heights wins by 32. Norfolk wins by 20 something. It is going to be an unbelievable championship. Kickoff, 8.30 this Friday, December 13th, right here on ESPN3. Take a real quick break, and when we come back, all the semifinal action from the Pee Wees. Stick around, we'll be right back. With all the success that Adrian was having, it was getting tough to juggle his schedule, so we got him an assistant. If I can get you to sign that, that'd be great. And oh, uh, by the way, for mom's birthday? Perfect. We had to get someone who could anticipate his every need. Yeah. Not now. Which one? Bike me. Done. Oh, your 3 p.m. is waiting. When you hit that next level, man, there aren't enough hours in the day. He'll be with you when he's with you. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida has emerged as the pinnacle of youth tournament travel, catering to the needs of the entire family. We offer a complete line of solution-oriented products and services to address the complex needs of teams on the road and the team parents who support them. To find out how to achieve vacation victory, visit ESPNWWOS.com. In the Pee Wee Division, Hawaiian Gardens versus Southeast Dallas. Hawaiian Gardens leading early, and this is Josiah Tafui, goes in untouched, Hawaiian Gardens by seven. Then Keandre McKnight fighting back for Southeast Dallas for the touchdown. Extra point, no good, but his team's within one. In the fourth quarter, McKnight looking to get his team the lead, but no, Josiah Tafui, you saw him earlier. He did it on offense, doing it here on defense. Hurdling people, running wild, gets in for the pick six. Hawaiian Gardens, 22-13 but they weren't out of it yet. Keandre, again, he throws it to Stacy Sneed. Look at the effort after the catch, shaking off tacklers. Great block there, sets him up for the touchdown, but it would not be enough as the extra point, no good. Hawaiian Gardens wins, 22-19. The other side of the bracket, the Outlaws versus the Warriors, and the Outlaws have it first. This is Griffin Helms. He keeps it and gets himself a touchdown. Creeks up by eight after the two-point conversion. 
in the second quarter. Griffin Helm just had a fantastic game. Airs it out. Great slam pattern by Spencer Lofgren. He's going 27 yards after the catch. Outlaws by 14. Fourth quarter. Helms just throwing all over the place today. Garrett Denny gets his team down to the eight. And they call his number again. What a catch by Denny. Lays out kind of a half pike there. Just an unbelievable effort. Hey, Denny, Sports Center called. They want their top 10. Outlaws win, and they win big, 28 to 0. You see here, turnovers for Ward 5. Three turnovers led to score, but then the Creeks Outlaws, 13 first downs. Just an absolute dominant performance as they win 28 to 0. Look at the full bracket here. Hawaiian Gardens, tough game, squeaked it out over Dallas Southeast. But as I said, the Creeks Outlaws just dominant in their win. Puts up a great championship matchup. That's going to be this Friday, kickoff at 1030 ESPN3. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, semifinal action in the Junior Midgets. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex is one of the most exciting youth baseball complexes in America, where players of all ages compete against both national and international rivals. Athletes can hone their skills year-round through open registration tournaments and spring training programs for high school and college teams on major league quality fields while creating memories that last a lifetime. To find out how your team can play here, visit DisneyBaseball.com. Welcome back, everybody. ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. This is the recap show for the 2013 Pop Warner Super Bowl. Semifinals in the books. Let's get right to the junior midgets. Hoffman Estates facing off against Northeast Pride. This was a good one. Kylan Weezer, he opens it up, finds Marquise Mead. Ten yards after the catch, Northeast up by six. In the third, Hoffman third and goal. And they bust it up the middle. Two-point conversion, good. They are up eight to six. Northeast not going down without a fight. Isha Brooks sneaks past the defense. Extra point, no good. 12-8, Northeast. But in the fourth, Hoffman comes fighting back. Marquis Prude takes the ball, puts it in for the TD. Extra point is good. They are up 15 to 12. Last attempt for Northeast. Not gonna happen. Back and forth game. But Hoffman Estates comes out with the win, 15 to 12. Jensen Beach Falcons facing Gilroy Browns, and the Falcons were just unstoppable because of the play of that man. Tyrese Jackson, quarterback, had a monster day. Touchdown there, two-point conversion, good. Then in the second, it's Jackson again. Look at the moves on this kid. Unbelievable field vision. Goes 42 yards, untouched. Waltzes across the line, Jensen Beach by 16. Then, who else? You guessed it, Jackson. Wham puts his shoulder down, knocks off the defender. Little start, little stop, little go. And number five just had a heyday. Jensen Beach up by 30. Just a dominant performance. They tack on another one late. You see the quarterback here. Not enough superlatives to talk about this kid. Might have been the player of the tournament up to this point. His team wins. They win big. Check out that stat, folks. 370 yards rushing, all of it on the ground. 14 first down, unbelievable performance. And Coach Kanata and his team, well, they've been there before as they look forward to the final. Well, I got four kids who are in the 2011 PB National Championship team, and they have been a huge part of keeping everything uh, level. They, that's Anthony Kanata, Tyrese Jackson, Justice Carter, and Blake Wiswell. When everyone starts to get their heads a, bit, a little bit big, those four grab them and do it. It happened last night. It was impressive. At the hotel, they said, hey, listen, our heads aren't right. We're playing a huge game tomorrow. And you see the result. Here's a look at the job. complete bracket for the junior midgets. Hoffman Estates, Jensen Beach. This is going to be an absolute Wild West shootout. Don't miss it. Our lunchtime game Friday, December 13th, kickoff at 1 p.m., 1.15, right here on ESPN3. Take a quick break, but when we come back, highlights of an instant classic in the midget division. Stick around for the overtime highlight.
Is that your Rookie of the Year trophy? It is. Is that your World Series ring? The same one as it was 10 minutes ago. Still working on that same email? Yep. Hey, Buster, want to grab some lunch? Yes, absolutely. Where are you guys going? Out. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex is one of the most exciting youth baseball complexes in America, where players of all ages compete against both national and international rivals. Athletes can hone their skills year-round through open registration tournaments and spring training programs for high school and college teams on major league quality fields while creating memories that last a lifetime. To find out how your team can play here, visit DisneyBaseball.com.